A St. Paul charter school is in the middle of a heated debate between parents and activists who plan to protest tonight. Yeah, it centers around a five-year-old boy who chooses to wear a skirt to school. It does seem really unfortunate that um, it is becoming apparently polarized or made into a political issue that it doesn't need to be. The administration at Nova Classical Academy in St. Paul is in the process of adopting a policy for transgender students. Meanwhile, the parents of the five-year-old boy have reached out for help from attorneys with gender justice, and other parents have asked the Minnesota Family Council to step in. Angela Davis explains what makes the issue so complicated. Nova Classical Academy is a small K-12 public charter school with about 900 students and another 1,000 students on its wait list. It's known for its academics, but is now getting attention for how it's handling a kindergartner who's being bullied. And every kid should be able to choose his own tennis shoes, right? He happens to want to wear the ones that are pink uh, or wear a pink backpack. Jill Galding and Lisa Stratton are the co-founders of Gender Justice. They're advising the parents of the kindergartner. Boy, some pretty hateful things have been said. I mean, it's sad in this country that when a child chooses to wear a pink backpack that people say that he should be beaten up by his peers, and that's just to quote one of the comments that was made. Eric Williams is Nova Classical Academy's executive director. He says all students have the right to feel safe. A child who is bullied has a hard time learning. It's, it's almost impossible if they're feeling like people are staring at them. He says Nova has provided training to teachers and staff on gender identity, as well as talked with students about appropriate behavior. If they understand that, they will be less likely to bully because understanding is the first step to getting along. The Minnesota Family Council, a conservative religious group, was invited by parents at Nova to lead a community discussion about transgender issues. They're holding it at the school, but Nova wants to make it clear that it does not share their views. Well, tonight at 6.30 is when that community discussion led by the Minnesota Family Council is taking place at the school. Supporters of Gender Justice and Upfront Minnesota say they also plan to attend to show support for the child's family. The attorneys for the parents say that the bullying of the kindergartner has been verbal so far. Not physical, mm -hmm. but, you know, that's still very hurtful. Yeah, it is. And I know that there are a few other school districts that are starting to develop these transgender policies. Uh, what does it mean for bathrooms at schools? Because I know that's what people yeah. are asking, too. There's been a lot of uh, debate They're about that, yeah. discussion about that. A at NOVA, you know, they say that they're still looking at se several options on that. And one option would be to create gender-neutral bathrooms in addition to the traditional mm -hmm. girls' and boys' bathrooms. But that's one that they're still, still looking at. All right. Thank you, Angela.